Hey, what's going on guys? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're going to cover PHP functions in more detail. Now just a quick review. We define a function using the construct function followed by the name. Inside the round brackets we have functions arguments separated by a comma. And you can think of arguments as future placeholders for the actual values. And when we call a function, we use a function name, again the round brackets, and inside we have the parameters separated by the comma and the parameters are the actual values for the arguments so these parameters are going to be passed over to the arguments and inside the functions code they're going to be uh, modified or printed out or whatever all right so let's go ahead and uh, go over some function basics here uh, first of all i'm going to define this constant that i always define called html tag br and then let's create a function named multiply and all it's going to do is multiply two numbers together a very very basic function just to illustrate the syntax and i'm going to use a keyword return to return two values one times two so so what the return does is it basically you can store the return as a value so if if i call this function here and use two values, five and six, nothing will happen in the output because, because that value is re returning, uh, is being returned back to uh, as a variable basically. So I would need to echo the value out and now you can see 30 is showing up here. Now if we wanted to uh, directly print the value to the screen, we can do so by just using the echo inside the function and say echo one times two and now if I use <laughs> multiply print five and ten this value as you can see is being printed out direct directly to the screen without me using the echo keyword because I already use that in the function. So just a little distinction between the return and printing the values directly. All right, let's go ahead and move on here. Okay, so let's define a function that will print some basic information about a person. And um, inside the function's arguments, you can actually specify what kind of a data type you're going to include. So if I specified array here, this function's uh, first parameter is only going to take array as as its value. So let me use a print r function here. So if I use this function here, print info, and I specified something like string here, I would get a catchable fatal fatal error argument one passed to print info must be of type array string given so so if I did array now name clever techie now I have my array being printed out so you can use these uh, uh, what are they called basically they're called type declarations so you can specify what kind of a type uh, the function's argument is going to take in as a parameter, and uh, that's how you uh, that's how you do that. Okay, you can also have some um, default values here, like for example, um, let me just go ahead and uh, define an array with some of my information, my info called my info. And I'm just going to have my basic information in there, like, like name, it's my actual name, uh, age 33, and gender M, and job clever techie. Okay, that should be enough for now. Now I'm just gonna insert this array inside the function just to make sure it's still being printed out. Okay, that's cool. Now um, let's go ahead and uh, print.
print this array out using uh, for each loop. I'm just gonna loop through the array inside the function and print out its values. And what I wanna do here is print it out inside a table. So I'm just gonna paste this HTML here. And all it does is just, it's a bunch of HTML with a uh, table, um, table tags. And uh, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna be doing this, you want to make sure that the table tag is printed out outside the actual array and uh, inside the the uh, inside the uh, the loop we're going to print out the actual table rows and table cells and what i want to do here is just uh, capitalize the function function uh, arrays key now i have uh, two table cells and uh, the value, okay, the value is going to be concatenate and end table row. So now you should guys, you guys should have this table. Okay, so hold on a second. Oh, cell padding. Okay, for now I'm just going to set it to 10 and undefined variable color and color. I'm just going to set it to light green for now. Okay, so now we got a, this nice, nice looking table. So let's see here. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this uh, default variable. For example, if I had another argument here, I could set it to light blue as by default. So now this, uh, and if I pass this variable instead of a BG color here, we have our tables color as blue. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm not using any variable here as a parameter when I'm calling this function. So, uh, so th that's what it means to have a default value for for the variable inside your function's uh, arguments, or in place of your arguments, and uh, and then specifying this variable, the second uh, parameter is going to be optional. So now, if I specify it, if I say something like light green. The table is going to become light green because I've specified this uh, parameter. It's been passed to the argument, and the ar argument is being used for the table BG color here. Okay, so that's how that works, and those are the default uh, argument values. Let's add another one here, here called cell padding equals 10. That's what I was trying to do before, and place that instead of that, and so now. The default uh, cell padding is going to be 10, but if I set it to 20 here, our table has grown in size, and that's also optional because that, that is a default value. So whenever you have default values for the arguments, those uh, parameters that we call are going to be optional. They're not necessary. Now, just to now be careful not to uh, do something like this, like uh, if you expect uh, to pass two arguments like this, um, and you're trying to pass cell padding as a parameter, you have skipped the color, and uh, and it thinks that you're trying to pass color as 10, and uh, now our table is all black, because that's not how it works. So just make sure to uh, pass the parameters uh, on the left before you, uh, before you decide to pass the values uh, to the parameters on the right, basically. Okay, so let's leave the color as light green for now and cell padding is going to be default. So, okay, so inside the functions, you can also do something like, like you can have a function name as a variable in PHP. So if I name my function, just to show you an example, very simple, print info. So this variable, we can use that variable as a placeholder for, for the actual function name. So if I used the same uh, call here with a slightly different parameters, now I have a second table being printed out here in pink color. And as you can see, I used I used a function name as a variable. And because the variable name is string print info, uh, it's uh, perfectly legal in PHP to use it as that. Okay, so it, this is that, and also you can uh, print.
print, you can use functions inside uh, other functions. So here I have some code that's going to print it out if uh, if the value of the of age is over 21 it's going to print out these extra tags here and what i'm doing here is just adding extra table uh, cells and then i'm using the function multiply that we created earlier and uh, inside that function i'm also using a built-in function called rand and the random function just picks a number from 1 to 50 in this case and then multiplies the two numbers together so if i keep refreshing this output you can you will be getting these uh, random numbers in both tables which are being multiplied by each other and and the reason I, I use this is I just wanted to show you guys how you can use functions within the functions and um, in the notes here I put functions have global scope so you can use functions anywhere in your program uh, on the other hand if I, if I had a declared a variable inside a function called local for example and uh, I said local I live only inside the function. This is true. Local variables live, uh, the variables that are defined inside a function only live inside that function. So if I echo out local here, you can see that local, I live only inside the function. But if we try printing that local variable outside the function, you'll get notice undefined variable local. Uh, and that's how the glo uh, scope works. Uh, inside the function, the scope is local local scope outside the function the scope is global now if we wanted to use a variable which is defined inside the function and use it outside the function in a global scope we'd use a keyword called, called global and now we can use uh, and we can define it like this and give it a value because that's not the proper syntax we first need to use the global keyword and then and then assign whatever value we want to that variable like for example, global, I'm, I'm all over the place. Okay, so actually single quote. And now if I tried uh, printing global, global I'm all over the place has been printed out because we have defined that variable as global. So that's how the local and global scope works. Now, just a few more things. Uh, there's something called the recursive functions, recursive functions, and those are basically functions that call themselves. So let's define a function called recursion, and it's going to take one. Uh, it's going to have one argument, and then we're just going to print uh, a equals ten uh, less than ten. Echo a and then recursion so that's how we call the function inside itself so this is a function that calls itself recursively and then if we if we called it here from zero past the zero to it it's going to print numbers zero to ten and that's recursion a function that calls itself so uh, when you define a function, a recursive function, just make sure to have an end to the function. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem because a function can run forever. So just like a, just like a loop, a function uh, where, where the loop has to have a condition that will eventually be false. Same goes, same, same is true for the recursive function. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a recursion. And then lastly, passing uh, function parameters by reference and I'm just gonna paste this code here I have to make this video a little shorter and uh, so basically uh, the way you pass arguments by reference is by using a and ampersand before the e, uh, argument and then uh, when you use a variable outside function and you call the function and as you can see, all it does is adds an extra string to the existing string. So we're starting off with this as a string, and then we're adding and something extra to that string. So normally, n normally something extra wouldn't be visible, but since we're adding the ampersand and passing the argument by reference, 
then uh, we can use we can modify the, the parameter inside the function so something extra has been printed out so just to, uh, if we remove remove the ampersand all of a sudden we just have this is a string uh, which is um, the parameter is not being modified uh, and uh, it just has a default value outside of the function so that's how that works and that's it for PHP functions I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Take You Out.